How the Dove Became the Bird of Peace. We're going to use this passage to practice making inferences. And I want you to remember an inference is a logical guess. But in order to make that logical guess, you need two things. You need a context clue and background knowledge. So when you're reading a story, your context clue is something you read that, that triggers something in your mind. So you have a context clue plus background knowledge, something you already know, and they lead you to a very logical guess. You're reading between the lines. Um, it's not in the text. It's something that's not in the text, but the author expects you to know. So we're going to read it, the story. I'm going to go ahead and read the first section and make one inference for you and then have you go ahead and finish the rest of the inferences. If at any time you're confused or you're not sure if your inference is correct, please feel free to call me over and I'd be happy to help you, okay? All right, so um, before the story starts, there is an introduction here and I hope you take the time to read it. It talks about how in the 1990s, schools in the country of Azerbaijan used the story. They were in the middle of a terrible civil war and this was a story about peace that they shared with all the students. Um, and it's, I mean, it's a very sad, but a fascinating story. So the story begins here. And I'll read this first section. Long, long ago, there were two shahs, kings, who lived in the kingdoms in the east and who held grudges against one another. Over the years, they became angrier and angrier and were constantly threatening each other. Finally, one of them announced, I'm going to make war. Everyone be prepared for war. Now, the other Shah had not been to war for 15 years. Therefore, he had nearly forgotten where his armor and battle clothes were stored. The day before the war was to begin, the Shah said to his mother, bring me my helmet. And then we have this box and it says, stop. Write one thing you can infer based on the paragraph above. And then how do you know this? Context clues and background knowledge. Well, I can tell, I can infer that the Shahs had a big fight a long time ago. I know this because when I read this sentence here, who held grudges against one another, over the years they became angrier and angrier. Well, I know that when you hold a grudge, when you're angry with somebody for a long time, it started with something. So I think it must have started with some kind of fight or argument. And then a grudge where you're angry with somebody for a long time, if that happens. And then um, they become angry and angry. I know when I was growing up, I had a really bad fight one time with my, my best friend. And um, we had a fight. And then we were mad at each other for, oh my gosh, maybe a year. We hardly, we didn't talk to each other, and, and it was really terrible, but, um, but a grudge, that's holding a grudge, and that often starts with a fight. So my, there's my context clue, and then I know that when you are holding a grudge, comma, it started with a fight. So I have my inferences that they had a fight a long time ago. My, con my uh, context clue is that sentence. And I know that if you're holding a grudge, it's because you had a fight. All right, so that's it. So you're going to keep going. You're going to read the next little section and make an inference. And it tells you what to make the inference about. And you're going to do it again. And you're going to do it again. And then at the end, I ask you a question about theme. And if you need to come back later in the week after you've done a theme lesson, that's fine. If you already know what theme is, that's great. But don't forget to answer that one. Okay, and that's all you're going to do. And as I said, if you're not sure your inference is corrected, just raise your hand and call me over and I can check them. Okay, good luck.